change happens one gesture one person one moment at a time 10 years ago 10 members committed towards this idea creating a change change along with conviction and resilience has brought us here today a team of over 100 members working towards a similar idea of creating an impact gliding into a new dawn we are ready to embrace opportunities with open arms to create a better world and future here we are proudly presenting to you our project dhara india a melting pot of art and culture now owing to rapid urbanization has lost its rich heritage of pottery which is one of the most iconic representatives of history already suppressed by economic deflation and the ever growing trend of plastic ware potters could only rely on their seasonal earnings during diwali but for the better part of the year they found it strenuous to make ends meet propelling them into a life devoid of indispensable amenities the team effectuated this challenge by firstly targeting the local potter community of chandigarh affected by this obstacle proliferating their hardships the potter community was relocated from the main city of chandigarh to the outskirts in the village of maloya drifting them away from subsistence extending a hand for service our team was able to rope in four potter families to start a fresh with us two years down the line we have more than 12 potter families working under project dhara The online food delivery and packaging industry pumps more than 22,000 tons of waste from plastic ware every month. Consumer dependence on plastic ware has become a difficult path to tread on. With concerns being raised around the anti-plastic and global environmental agenda, restaurant owners were inclined to use earthen ware provided it is affordable and suits market expectations. Keeping in line with man's obligation to clean and green nature, Potters were sensitized to cease the use of old wood-based furnaces and switch to electric kilns, leading to net zero carbon emissions. In collaboration with Khadi Village and Industries Commission, the team is in process of acquiring terracotta grinder to recycle and reuse defective clay products. Adding to the cause of Swachh Bharat, the team ensures that the clay being used is procured from government-approved soil wells only. to also promote financial literacy and business slant the team has held multiple financial literacy workshops with the assistance of security and exchange board of india trained professionals in addition to sensitizing and sustaining the community financially consistent efforts were required to aware people on the perks of good health and nutrition for which an expert talk by a university dietitian was conducted benefiting over 500 community members altogether boosting their employment and economic growth rate we teamed with over 15 leading food outlets including renowned pan india eateries like yo china to ensure a steady supply of orders the overall revenue produced in this budgetary year is rupees 35 lakhs 81100 Since its inception, Project Dhara has touched over 2 lakhs 71,886 lives, produced 8 entrepreneurs, achieved 14 UN Sustainable Development Goals, curtailed 80.46 metric tons of carbon emissions, and averted the accumulation of 13.41 tons of plastic scrap. Whether brightly coloured, misshapen, or perfectly round, pottery is a mirror of our civilization. Project Dhara aims to protect the glory of Indian pottery in all its essence so that it continues to entice and enchant those who have discovered its charms continuing on the commitment to service above self we present to you our second project project uday विश्व की आज की स्थिति हमें सिखाती है कि इसका मार्ग एक ही है आत्मनिर्भर भारत जेंडर इन इक्वालिटीज इंटेंसिवाई पॉवर्टी एंड परपेचुएटेड डाउन थ्रू जेनरेशन 
In our country, the gender gap has widened to 62.5 percent, primarily due to women's inadequate representation in leadership and technical roles, poor health care and income inequality. The pandemic has impacted women more severely than men and has made the situation even more dire. It will now take another 135 years to contract this gender gap worldwide. Further, adding to their adversity, millions of women across the country still face significant barriers to a comfortable and dignified experience with menstrual hygiene. Over 71% of girls in India report having no knowledge of menstruation before their first period. Project Uday embarks upon the sensitivity around menstruation while also encompassing the detrimental environmental hazards of conventionally available plastic-based sanitary napkins, as well as incorporating the employability of textile waste in producing cloth-based products as alternatives to plastic products. Thus, Project Uday is a three-fold objective-driven project to employ semi-skilled underprivileged women for stitching cloth-based products like bags, sanitary napkins, face masks, etc. as replacements for plastic alternatives to mitigate plastic and textile pollution and to spread awareness of menstrual health and hygiene. Project Uday was started in solidarity with the cause of benefiting underprivileged, semi-skilled women community based in Neagao by not only elevating their living conditions by providing them a sustainable source of income but also augmenting their self-esteem. To rope in over 35 ladies, we collaborated with NGO Developing Indigenous Resources India registered under the Ministry of Corporate Affairs. To inculcate the skill of stitching, the team along with DIR organized a six-month Ministry of Skill Development Certified Tailoring Program. In collaboration with the Fashion Department at Punjab University, stitching workshops were conducted to make robust cloth products by minimizing cloth wastage. These workshops enhanced their competency in making market-ready quality products. To reuse the otherwise incinerated or dumped waste cloth, the team approached various local mills and boutiques across Punjab and Haryana. After constant efforts, the team connected with Ajit Mills, Garg Mills and Kedar Mills Ludhiana for the procurement of cloth for making cloth items in replacement to plastic products. Collection boxes are set up throughout Tri-City in collaboration with Social Substance Group, NPO Punjab University, thus managing to collect enough cloth for production. In India, over 12 billion sanitary napkins are used annually, with 98% ending up in landfill sites or lakes, seas and oceans. Plastic bags die a situation as they do not break down completely, but rather photodegrade, becoming microplastics that absorb toxins and deteriorate the environment. Project Uday encircles the vision to reduce plastic from sanitary napkins by its cloth-based counterparts. Promoting innovation, multiple fabrics were tested by NABL accredited labs in terms of their durability, absorbency, pH and bacterial bioburden. Team helped reduce this menace by promoting green menstruation using cloth-based reusable sanitary napkins in villages around Chandigarh. Myths, misconceptions and misleading information regarding menstruation feed into stigma which can be hugely damaging for the spectrum of menstruators. Realizing that improving menstrual health in young girls and women has a profound impact on their overall well-being, the team took the responsibility of dismantling the stigmas around menstruation by organizing Mithark, Transfusing Next Gen Perspective, a workshop series in collaboration with CSR Project Amodini of Versatile Enterprises Private Limited Ludhiana and DIR. The team understood that by refusing to speak about menstruation in a forthright manner, we perpetuate the idea that it is not appropriate to discuss without veil terminology. Working upon this, the team conducted four workshops in less than two months, one during the University Fest, other for residents of Girls Hostel No. 2 Punjab University, third for a community of underprivileged ladies of Neagao and fourth for over 500 young schoolgirls in Ludhiana. Dedicated to making sure that our message reaches far and wide, we are working with the Joint Commissioner, Municipal Corporation and Mayor Chandigarh, whereby they extended the support in making this program reach across the city, especially in schools. The team, in collaboration with Jyotir Gamya 91.2 FM Punjab University, aired a radio talk session echoing our cause across 10 kilometers radius. 
वी ऑल्सो ज्वाइन हैंड्स विद सेंटर फॉर सोशल वेलफेयर पंजाब यूनिवर्सिटी रीड्स अ चंडीगढ़ बेस्ड एन जी ओ लायंस क्लब चंडीगढ़ सेंट्रल एंड वाई डब्ल्यू सी ए वर्किंग वीमेन हॉस्टल टू हेल्प आउटसोर्स आर पैथ टू वीमेन फ्रॉम डिफरेंट वॉक्स ऑफ लाइफ कमिटेड टू नॉट ओनली रिमेनिंग कन्फाइंड इन साइड आर ओन सिटी और इवन कंट्री वी हैव एक्सपैंडेड आर प्रोजेक्ट टू नेपाल एंड द यूनाइटेड स्टेट्स थ्रू दिस वी टूक अ प्रोजेक्ट टू न्यू हाइट्स बाई द सेल ऑफ वन थाउजेंड थ्री हंड्रेड एंड फिफ्टी सैनिटरी नैपकिन इन लेस दैन थ्री मंथस एडिंग अनदर वर्टिकल टू आर कॉज ऑफ सर्विस अब सेल्फ द टीम इन एसोसिएशन विद कोलगेट पामोलिव हैज ऑर्गेनाइज वर्कशॉप ऑन ओरल हेल्थ केयर इन नया गाँव एंड समर्थ अ रेजिडेंशियल फेसिलिटी फॉर स्पेशली एबल्ड हाईलाइटिंग सम वैल्यूएबल पॉइंट्स सच एज हाउ इम प्रॉपर डेंटल केयर कैन लीड टू इन्फेक्शन इन टीथ गम स्वेलिंग बैड ब्रेथ सेंसिटिविटी लिंकिंग द ओरल प्रॉब्लम्स विद डिजीजेज सच एज हार्ट एलमेंट कैंसर एंड डायबिटीज With an impact on over three lakh fifty-three thousand one hundred and nineteen lives directly, and over one crore forty-five lakhs fifty-eight thousand nine hundred and ninety-seven lives indirectly, averting over twenty-four point one one kilograms of chemical pollutants, Project Uday is a synergy that redefines strength in softness. The team is thriving, taking consistent and coherent steps towards creating a better, happier and healthier world for all. We are Inactus Department of Chemical Engineering Punjab University, transforming moments into catalysts for change. Change that magnifies sustainability and scalability.